Hello again, friends. I have something very special to share with you today. During the last few months, I managed to spend less time on busy work and more time with myself and my inner child. And the process led me to discover what the Japanese call an ikigai. So ikigai is the intersection of your mission, your profession, your passion, and your vocation. And for me, that might just be vehicle design. So, without further ado, here is a world first exclusive look of the Aurora R concept. This is a 3D model with real-world dimensions and specifications. It's not just a drawing. And I've been working on it for the past few months. My goal is to turn this 3D model into a real-world prototype this summer and hopefully start a boutique automotive slash robotics company out of it. We've seen plenty of new automotive companies going completely balls out with incredible machines with absurd performance and staggering price tags. But we can do things differently. We can achieve the same absurd performance with the basic principle of simplify and add lightness. This 550 kilogram machine powered by a 1.3 liter motorcycle engine should go faster around the track than a brand new 2020 Lamborghini Huracan with a 5.2 liter engine and cost a small fraction of the price. So why is that? The truth is, we live in a world built by baby boomers, for whom excess is normal and more is always better. But not everybody wants excess, we just want the performance that comes with it. Excess leads to bad engineering decisions that add weight and complexity to a machine. In a world where horsepower sells cars, manufacturers need to push unnecessary horsepower figures that require bigger or more complex engines that then require bigger brakes, stronger chassis, bigger cooling, etc, etc. And in the end, you're left with a heavy, complicated machine that now needs millions of dollars invested in electronics just to keep it on the road. Let's look at an example with the car that I'm sitting in right now. So this car comes with 354 horsepower. Which sounds like a lot, right? Well, it is, but it also weighs nearly 1.8 tons. So when you look at the power to weight ratio, it's closer to 200 horsepower per ton. The Aurora concept is designed to prove that less is actually more and that this is the way of future generations. To achieve that, we will use modern design and manufacturing techniques such as generative design, which is the use of artificial intelligence in the design and optimization of the components in the vehicle, uh, additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, which will be used not only for prototyping parts, but also for creating production-ready components for the vehicle, as well as design and testing software that allows us to dramatically cut costs by testing the vehicle in software environments comparing to real-world ones. Of course, we won't be designing engines because we don't have billions of doors, so we will outsource the critical components to established and reliable manufacturers. Following that vision, I've set some design ideals for the Aurora R. It needs to be as lightweight as practically possible. It needs to have the performance of a supercar. It needs to have a price tag of a small city car. It needs to be economical to run and maintain. It needs to be technologically advanced. And it needs to have a fresh, new and sexy design. The combination of those ideals are visible in the current non-final design of the Aurora R that features a lightweight tubular steel chassis, double wishbone front suspension, a single rear wheel with a swing arm, a plywood underbody, 
yes plywood only two body panels in the whole design made of either fiberglass carbon or carbon reinforced plastics polycarbonate cockpit window and a full motorcycle drivetrain that includes the engine clutch transmission and electronics sourced preferably by a suzuki hayabusa this results in a 550 kilogram machine that produces 210 horsepower which equals a power to weight of 381 horsepower per ton just for reference a brand new 2020 Lamborghini Huracan has 392 horsepower per ton you also get 11,000 rpms to play with it is categorized as an L5C category vehicle which means that technically it's not a car and I will tell you why that's highly important in the next episode and so you end up with an incredible driving experience at a very affordable level that can be easily produced here in Bulgaria. I hope this got you excited. In the next episode, we're going to dive deeper into the specifications, the design process and the challenges of the Aurora R. And we will also have a look at the Aurora S and the Aurora E and why they are all missing a wheel at the back. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this series, please hit the like button for the omnipresent YouTube algorithm. If you want to get involved, feel free to subscribe. We'll need all the help we can get to establish Bulgaria's presence on the automotive map of Europe. So I will hopefully see you in the next one.